I just think that I have, uh, you know, as my partner Stephen Willie will say, you know, it's either 10 or 1. Like, can't you just be on a 5? <laughs> and I, I think that's my response to material as well. I have a very visceral uh, response to things. And sometimes it's hard to articulate exactly why something gets under your skin. Um, this just did, and I was just determined to make it. I mean, you know, there's obvious reasons. I'm a woman, and I don't think there's enough parts for women. I thought these two female characters were complex, um, rounded, uh, intriguing, full of passion, you know, all of those things. And I, it's just a fantastic love story. It has, it, it very much is a Patricia Highsmith way of telling a love story. I mean, Todd talks about it brilliantly with, with Patricia Highsmith. You know, it's usually a, a dissection of the criminal, you know, the psych, psych, the psychopathy of the criminal. Um, if I do this, I'll, I'll cover my steps. If I do that, they won't know. This will be a false lead. They don't know it was me who committed the murder. And he talks about the way Highsmith approaches love is that, you know, when you're falling in love, you're like, well, if I wear this, they will notice me. And, oh my God, did they say that because, or did they go to the bathroom because I'm boring them? Or was it because they're overwhelmed by what I'm, you know, there's all of those signs that you're reading or you're misreading and you're interpreting. And, and I think that that's what makes it just such a brilliant Highsmith subject. It was also very, very personal to her and her diaries and writings are kept in Zurich. And, you know, there's a side of me, she ended up, she died a very sort of embittered and curmudgeonly woman in a stone house um, on the side of a hill that apparently the sun never hit, the northern side of a hill, <laughs> drinking whiskey and being fairly offensive. But I, um, you know, she, you sort of wonder, like, in some ways, I mean, this was based on a personal experience. She was working in a department store and a woman did come in and she was infatuated with her and Highsmith actually followed her home and then went back to her apartment and, and was had flu and in this fevered state just wrote this very, very quickly. And there's an element me of the sort of thinks, well, what if time things were different you know what if Patricia Highsmith could have had an open relationship and had children and had what would that have been like and in sometimes I sort of think she was writing about that possibility that was denied to her and so many and still is denied to so many um, I don't know I just loved it and also I just think Phyllis Nage is an incredible she's an incredible writer um, and you find with ideas that there's a lot of stuff out there, but the ones that get to you are the ones they just keep coming back. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night and think, oh, you just, I just really wanted to make it. I was just determined to make it. So I did. <laughs>